welcome back to Level Higher, your go-to channel for all things AI. Today we're diving into something seriously cool, creating a logo animation that's going to make your brand pop. We're using the powerful combo of Runway Gen 3 and CapCut to make it happen. Whether you're a pro designer or just starting out, stick around because this tutorial is going to level up your skills. We are going to create your astonishing logo animation in three simple steps. Step 1. Creating the animation in Runway. Step 2. Removing the green screen in CapCut. Step 3. Adding a new background in Runway. If you don't know how to place your logo on green screen, stick around until the end of video where I've done bonus tutorial exactly about this. Alright, let's kick things off with Runway Gen 3. This AI powered tool is a game changer for creating stunning animations without needing to be an animation wizard. Here's how we do it. Open Runway Gen 3. Get your creative juices flowing by firing up Runway. If you haven't yet, sign up and log in. Import your logo. Upload your logo into the platform. Make sure it's on a green screen background. Trust me, this makes everything easier later on. Crafting your prompts. Now, the fun begins. Start by entering prompts that will animate your logo. Think about movements, effects, and vibes you want your logo to give off. Runway will take care of the heavy lifting. Here's a little pro tip. Check out the Runway Help Center. I will leave a link to Help Center in the video description below. They've got some killer examples that break down prompts in detail. Honestly, that's where I got my inspiration for this tutorial. Just find the effects you want from their examples, write them down, and drop them into the prompt section below your uploaded image. Easy as that. Generate the animation, hit that generate button, and watch the magic happen. You'll get a slick animation that you can use as a starting point for your logo's journey to awesomeness. Now that we've got our animation, it's time to bring CapCut into the mix. CapCut is fantastic for video editing, and today we're using it to remove that green screen background. Let's jump in. Open CapCut and import your animation. Start by opening CapCut and importing your freshly minted logo animation. Select the animation layer. Make sure your animation layer is selected so we can start the background removal. Use the chroma key tool. This is where the magic happens. Head over to the chroma key tool, select the green background and boom, it's gone. Your logo is now free to roam wherever you want it to. With the green screen out of the way, let's take things up a notch by adding a dynamic background. We're heading back to runway gen three for this final step. Create a new animation background. Just like before, start with some creative prompts. This time you're crafting a background that will complement your logo's animation. Think about colors, themes, and movements that match your brand's vibe. Generate and export. Once you're happy with the background, hit generate and export the final product. Import the background into CapCut. Head back to CapCut and import this new animated background. Drag it under your logo layer, adjust the timing and position, and voila! You've got a killer animated logo with a custom background that stands out. And there you have it, an epic AI powered logo animation that's ready to make your brand shine. Whether you're posting it on social media, adding it to videos, or using it in your marketing, this logo is sure to catch eyes and turn heads. As a bonus, I'm showing you how to create a green screen background for your logo using Jim, a powerful and free image editor. This simple trick will make your logo animations a breeze. Let's get started. First things first, let's get your logo into GIMP. Open GIMP and simply drag and drop your logo file into the workspace. Alternatively, you can go to File and click Open to import your logo. Once it's in, make sure it's on a new layer for easier editing. Next up, we're going to select the background. Use the Fuzzy Select tool, also known as the Magic Wand, to click on the background area around your logo. This tool will help you grab all those background pixels in one go. If you need to, adjust the threshold to get a clean selection around your logo. With the background selected, all you need to do is hit delete on your keyboard. This removes the background, leaving your logo on a transparent layer. You should see a checkerboard pattern indicating transparency. Now your logo is ready for its green screen transformation. Time to add that green screen. Create a new layer below your logo layer by going to Layer New from Visible. Then select the Bucket Fill tool and choose a bright, vivid green color. This will be your green screen. Fill the new layer and just like that, your logo now sits on a perfect green screen background. 
And there you have it. A quick and easy way to create a green screen background for your logo using GIMP. This will make editing and animating your logo a whole lot easier. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to smash that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Level Higher for more AI magic. Keep leveling up and we'll see you in the next video.